Welcome. Today I'm sharing with you from Psalm 150, which begins with these words, praise the Lord. And then in the very last verse, it says, let everything that has breath praise the Lord. It begins in the same way that it ends. And in doing so, it's basically telling us that every part of God's creation is called upon to give him praise. That includes you and me. That includes everything that God has made, the world around us, creatures, the mountains and the seas. That God, in other words, made everything in part so that it would give testimony to who he is, that it would praise him. And that too, when we narrow it down to just our own lives, is to be a snapshot of our life. Our life, among many other things, is to be one in which we praise God. And yes, this psalm speaks about praising God when we go to church, praise God in the sanctuary, but it also means that we praise God in retirement, that we praise God when we are at home, when we are at work, when we are out in the community. Whatever is going on in a given day, whatever we are doing or, and occupying our time with, it is all to be ultimately for the purpose of praising God. Now, do we do this well all the time? No, we don't. We often complain. We forget about the Lord. We have our own agendas. We do things on our own terms instead of God's terms. But still the Lord calls on us to give him glory and praise for who he is and for what he has done. Who he is is that he is a loving God who made all things. He is all-powerful. And what he has done for us is that he is one who has made it possible for us to live in relationship with him for all eternity. That's where Jesus comes in. The story of Jesus is that he sent God, was, God sent him into the world for the purpose of forgiving us our sins and opening heaven up for us. Without our Lord Jesus Christ, none of that would be possible. But God in his mercy and grace wanted this to happen, and so he sent his son Jesus into the world for those very reasons. And today, as believers in Jesus Christ, we are those who lay hold of those promises. We praise God for all that he has done for us. I encourage you to do that today. Praise him for who he is, for what he has done. Let that be a daily practice for you. We will never run out of reasons for which to praise God. Let's pray. Our Lord and God, we thank you for who you are, for what, we, for what you have done. We praise you, and we thank you for your great love that we see in Jesus, your Son. Above all, in him we see your grace and your mercy now and forever. Let our lives, O Lord, be ones in which we give you our thanks and praise, day in and day out. We pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Blessings to you.